I've always uh, been a great admirer of Japan, I, and I do believe very strongly in the relationship between the United States and Japan, but I'd never had a long visit, and I'd never really felt that I got to know uh, Japan, both in terms of a social uh, contact as well as cultural, and uh, the offer, the opportunity to come here and spend a week and really see Japan and meet interesting people was uh, very attractive to me. My view of the current world situation is that uh, the democracies are under challenge in a way that we didn't expect them to be. Uh, we have two very large great power autocracies, one of them very close to Japan and China and also in Russia where uh, next to Europe uh, where I've spent a lot of my life and I think that we need to understand that we can't take democracy for granted as we once did and that the democracies of the world, especially uh, the traditional allies, uh, need to do more uh, to both to defend democracy and to promote democracy at a time when it's really being challenged. I'm optimistic that we can do that. I'm not as pessimistic as many people are about the decline of the democratic world, but I do think that uh, it's time for us to take the issue seriously again. Some of it is just international solidarity. Um, I think that the established democracies need to provide uh, support, defense in some cases, encouragement, perhaps aid, perhaps assistance uh, to countries where democracy is fragile or under threat, um, and that we need to understand that uh, countries around the world look to the great powers uh, for uh, a, lot of us, a lot of things, economic assistance, political assistance, and the great powers need to be conscious of that. And so uh, I think that perhaps sometimes we spend too much time uh, worrying about our relations with uh, the big autocratic powers and not enough time worrying about our relationship uh, with fragile democracies around the world. I think that for many years, um, on the one hand, people took the Jap Japanese alliance for granted. And there was so much focus, especially during the Cold War and after the Cold, immediately after the Cold War, on Europe, on NATO and NATO enlargement. And that was sort of the unfinished business of the Cold War. Uh, and that was really where people were focusing most of their attention. But as when the Soviet Union collapsed uh, and Europe uh, became sort of stable and democratic, uh, on the one hand, and on the other hand, as China has risen, I think people are now realizing again, uh, how important the U.S.-Japan relationship is. Uh, and in a way, perhaps the difficulties that we're going through uh, with the new government in Japan and a new government in the United States, there may be a, a, a good aspect to these problems, which is that people have been forced to focus again and, and think sort of from the bottom up, uh, why is this relationship important, rather than both of us taking it for granted. Relations among countries are similar to relations among people and as you know with any good friendship it means understanding what matters to the other person. Um, a lot of times we approach alliances and sometimes we approach people all we want to know is what we need. Uh, this is what we need and we want the person to give us what we need but friendship and alliances are about understanding what the other partner needs as well and I think this is a time uh, really when both Japan and the United States uh, should take a good understanding of what both are looking for, what both need. It's an equal relationship um, it, and both come to it voluntarily. And so in order for it to work, there has to be a lot of understanding. And I'm hopeful that in this period we'll, we'll be developing that understanding. I don't know. It's hard to always say what, a, what the audience thinks. Nobody was booing, I don't think. People weren't uh, miserable. I thought the, there were some representatives of the Chinese government who were not happy with what I was saying, which I would expect. Um, but I think I come here uh, uh, at this time in the U.S.-Japan relationship. It's a bit of a uh, things aren't as certain as they were before. There is concern about uh, the health of the U.S.-Japan relationship and the sense I got from the audience and honestly the sense that I've gotten in the meetings is that everyone would like to 
see an improvement in this relationship, that there is really a commitment uh, in Japan, as well as I know in the United States, to making this relationship uh, important for the future. I don't know entirely what to expect. I know a little bit of Japanese history, but I know that I'm going to uh, the really historical Japan. I've been told that it's very beautiful, and, uh, and I've come here with my wife and children, and so we're really hoping to have a very uh, lovely cultural experience. I already I write about Japan, but I'm certainly planning on writing about Japan more, and certainly from the, on the basis of this trip. I, in fact, was already thinking about uh, a future Washington Post column about the state of the U.S.-Japan relationship based on this trip. We were looking forward to this trip, but I have to say that it's even exceeded our expectations. That um, I felt that First of all, the, the friendliness um, of everyone, uh, the meetings have been very interesting. Uh, and one of the virtues, I think, of the program that the Sasakawa Foundation set up was that we've met with a very wide diversity of people. Um, we've met with officials from w both parties. Uh, we've met government officials. We've met intellectuals. We've met journalists. And so in a very short time, I feel like we've gotten a very broad flavor of opinion in Japan. And one of the things that, uh, that I've found very enjoyable and exciting is everyone's openness and candor. Uh, I don't feel like we're getting, you know, just the official line on issues. I feel like there is a real desire for exchange uh, and people are curious about our views and we are obviously curious about their views. A lot of people who've been doing foreign policy like myself for 30 or 40 years uh, you know, we think we know Japan, but maybe we don't really. And so there are a lot of people like myself uh, who would benefit tremendously uh, from this kind of visit um, laid out the way Sasakawa Foundation has done it. So I would strongly encourage you to continue uh, bringing people over. I think it's very helpful. But it's really been a wonderful program. It, much be even better. We expected a great deal, but it's been even better than we expected.